I always tried to make holidays a thing in our little family unit for the short time such a unit existed. I was more of a summery person while my wife adored the snow. Perhaps it was her Russian roots. Our daughter was happy almost anywhere and everywhere, but there's no denying she felt the cold more than many of us. Daddy, Axel shivering, he needs more fire. We all knew, of course, that she was referring to herself and not the rabbit, but if that was her way of appearing courageous, we were willing to go along with it. I rug it up and left the two ladies in the log cabin in search of wood to feed the fireplace. Six years. That's all the time we had together, all three of us. All the time that Emily had to get to know her mother. Daddy, when will mommy be coming home? She asked the day after Cassandra died. I opened my mouth to answer, but all that came from my throat was an impotent choking sound. Tears were quick to follow. Emily, brave little soul that she was, did her best to console me. In the end, it was the children's book that helped Emily to fully comprehend what had happened to her mother. So the mummy deer got sick and there was nothing the other deers could do to help her. That's right, sweetie. We all have to pass on sooner or later. Your mother's time just came sooner than we expected. It was in that moment that I understood why families bought pets with short life expectancies, like goldfish and guinea pigs. Emily had little concept of death up until that point.
Ah, that should be enough wood for now. Time to head back to the cabin. I'm sure those two must be freezing by now. Could happily bear to get a bit warmer myself. Beaches are certainly more my speed, I'd say.